I'm gonna filter here with the next episode of the 90 day series. Hope you can hear me well. Memento Mori and embrace the nature of life which ends with death and or is a transition by death. Well, I would say that the next uh, topic, <clears throat> continuing the series of Here is Bingo, who missed it, he's here. So the next topic would be after you manage to under, to control your mind a bit and then detach yourself from the things that, from the things of life, which are bringing you down or, or, or towards which you are attached in such a way. You need the next step to transition into understanding what is illusory in life or fake, if you want to call it like that, and understand what is the truth of life and the truth of nature, which, and by that I mean such constants in life that are truth over longer periods in life, the, like the natural truths of life. It's not the easiest thing to do, but you have to practice and to understand that beyond what you believe about life and what you're taught to believe about life, there are things, some things and some ideas and some ways of life that are truth, they are the flow of life and they will keep being the flow of life, whatever you believe. So take your ideas about life and put them against this, well, there are many ways to think about it and to understand to try to understand what is truth of life and what is true in life. And the easiest way and the way that I, there are, if you want to go more specific is there is, there are different ways to go about it. But if you need one standard in life and to say that, okay, is this true in life? Put that idea, ask, that question against death or in the face of death. If in the face of death your idea still holds, if the way you see life still feels true, that's where it might be true. It's not the easiest way to define what is true or fake or is illusory in life, but you have to work about it and ask yourself the right questions like, is this way of life the true way of life? Is me going about life in this way? Is this the way that everyone has to go about life? It's a very ambiguous terrain, <laughs> but you have to. And actually, when you start looking at things with detachment and with control over your mind, you will start understanding what is true and what is not really true what is illusory in life. So you need to practice this. And as you practice the steps from before, you will start practicing this step. It's going to be easier. And you will start, start seeing life as it is more and more clearly. It's not an easy way, but just you have to work constantly about it and be detached. 
be in control of your mind, be in control of your life. And just keep going in life, just keep going. It's not the easiest way, just it's the only way that I know. <laughs> the unfiltered here. So, see you tomorrow.